Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Mohammed Harun Idris. Today we have Mercedes Benz E320 chassis 212 formatic, and we change the, the the headlight, the left side front headlight, complete housing with the two module inside. And as you see here, everything we put it together, we programmed it and it's beautifully working. The only problem is that, and the reason why you change it, if you don't see the first video, water get into the module, the computer that inside, through the headlight, that is, have a little bit of crack, of crack there. The customer did not wait, did, the customer did not change it quick, and the water get into it, come through here, and messed up the two computers. So the headlight have to be replaced, the computers have to be replaced. The first time when the customer come, he just changed the, the headlight and he never changed the module. And I tell him, if the headlight have water, he changed only the housing, I tell him, nothing will work. So he went there, he changed it. When he changed it, we tried to read the information from the left side to this one, but it looked like it doesn't work because it have a sensor in this side here, which is not available. There's a leveling sensor, I believe. So now we're using our tools after we finish everything work, we don't have nothing wrong. Only this code here, as you see. We say active, headlamp, inoperative. So let's go together here. Um, Mustafa, we can, uh, I am here with you, so you can go inside. Uh, we're going to go to the left side headlamp. Mustafa from uh, Morocco, Morocco, from Beni Milal. He's a very technic a good electrician, computer programmer. If you are in Morocco, beside the football that we already win, and inshallah we will get the World Cup also. If you are there, you can visit him for your car if you have any problem. Now we have this coat here, you see, C156 Echo 00, and it said number of ignition cycle. And the problem was, he said that calibration of the vehicle level was not performed. That's why the message is there, and when you use Mercedes-Benz dealer tools, this is what what left for us. And if you see, we have the name B228 left front level sensor, B227 left rear sensor, and the value here you see 28 point voltage is okay, but if you see the current store zero position for the front axle and the zero position for the rear axle, zero position adjustment not performed. Because the top one zero 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 v two point six. So let's go again if we can do the test. Yes. So you do the test, and then you're gonna continue. Do you want me? Do you want me to turn the engine off or no? No, no. I, I don't think it would. Uh, it would yeah. Be yeah. It's okay. So we're gonna go. That's where you do it. You click on it. Zero performed already. Yeah. You already did it. Okay, you see now everything go, go green beautifully. You so start zero adjustment, you do it from here. Now we're gonna go back. And if you see the, the message disappear right away, and also the codes, we don't have no codes, all the codes gone, no fault necessary. That means if you change it, you must do the calibration and clear the code. If not, that message will be still there. And this will take less than five minutes to do. What we learn from here is you must use the dealer tools to calibrate and program the headlights. Also, do the calibration and uh, check all the code if it's not available. But do not try to swap headlights on this particular car 2016. If you try to swap the headlight, you're going to blow out the fuse uh, in the back, which is operating the LED lights. Also, before you program it, you need to copy all the three barcode. Uh, one like uh, B A and B B and L E D. When you try to copy them, try to take a uh, cover two and take the picture of the one that you want to you want to you want to you want to take it. Write it down each barcode with its own name, numbers, and then write it down into the car. Okay, now we're running a complete test again to see if there is any code. If it's not, uh, Mr. Lou. I did it already, but you see on the under the hood the fuse box, the cover for the fuse box. 
one clip I was able to clip it. The other one is like it doesn't clip one on the one on the left side here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Disconnect the battery and see if it's clear. If it's not, then we have to take this to to leave it or bring it to work on it. If something blow out or anything. Check it out. Tell him. Tell, tell him to take a picture of it too. Okay. No code, right? Yeah, we will check it again. This is the picture jump. Yeah, the new one. This is the part number and the software. Mm -hmm. It's not a fault code. No fault. Beautiful. It's, 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 it's okay. Okay, do you want me to call to call this guy and let him copy and create the, the, the part number for those parts in case we have 2016, the same one? We don't need to go. We can use Vidyama and yes, just. Maybe. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm gonna call him, tell him, look. Him and tell him we have time. Can, can we use this car as a backup? Because 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 last time he asked me, do you have any car? And uh, if that, it will help a lot. So we're gonna yeah, we're so gonna use that one. And, and, uh, yeah, I gotta. To, to yeah. I will stay with you in the team. No problem. I wanna ask him what. He, I don't know if he's available or not. Okay. I will I will call him right now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. Okay, no problem. And also, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.